Hi, I'm Mike Rice, Senior Product Manager with Penn Fish and Tackle down here in Crocodile Bay, Costa Rica. Just got done our editor's trip. We had uh, three days of pretty hardcore fishing and I wanted to run you through one of the reels that we uh, that was on the boat. Uh, this is the Squall Lever Drag. This is the family here, a single speed lever drag. We're gonna offer it in a 30, 40, 50, 60 in right hand retrieve. We're also gonna offer a 40 and a 60 in left hand retrieve. Uh, the numbers may or may not mean something, but uh, the way that we uh, size our conventional reels is the number, the model number, means 300 yards of monofilament capacity. So this 30 right here holds 300 yards of 30 pound Berkeley big game line. The 40 holds 300 yards of 40 pound Berkeley big game. Uh, there was a lot of discrepancies between model numbers and we just wanted to make sure that uh, ours correlated to 300 yards of monofilament capacity. Uh, so we got the two left-handers, the four right-handers, 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, let's talk quickly about the features. One thing you'll notice on these reels is that the drag lever doesn't actually come above the uh, side plate or frame of the reel. That's to prevent line from uh, jumping off, you know, jumping out of the rigger and grabbing the lever or whatever. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you get slack line in certain situations and it has the potential to grab the lever, but in this, in this reel, it's, it's no way possible to do that. Uh, we also have line capacity uh, rings on the spool. Uh, so we show one-third, two-thirds, and a full spool of line right here. So if you're at anchor tarpon fishing in Key West and, and you, you hook a big fish and he's taking line, you know when it's time to get off the anchor and when you can fight him from a dead boat. Three position clicker, so there's an intermediate uh, position, there's also a full position, and then there's off. So three positions there. A lot of the kite guys like a different, uh, um, a, a little bit uh, heavier setting. Uh, some of the dead bait guys like a little lighter setting. So we've got three positions there on the squall. Uh, what else we want to talk about? The drag system, Dura Drag. So this is the same drag system that we use in the internationals. Um, very, very uh, uh, durable drag system. It is greased with pen grease, and uh, it's proven to be one of the most durable drag system as far as longevity goes uh, on the market. Let's look uh, inside the reel real quick. <clears throat> I think there's some uh, features worth looking at here. On the gear system here, uh, you have a large stainless steel main gear. You also have a stainless steel pinion. You can see it's been drilled out here. That's to reduce weight. This is the lightest graphite lever drag reel that Penn has ever built. Uh, but uh, we didn't want to lose the stainless uh, main and pinion gear because the gear system is kind of what, uh, what Penn is uh, founded on. We also uh, have a sealed drag system. So you can see this cover right here is threaded on. And then you can see the uh, Dura drag washer right there built on the spool. Uh, stainless steel drag plate. Everything's greased. There's there's uh, pen grease everywhere in this reel, which is uh, which which uh, helps prevent corrosion. So we use uh, all uh, shielded stainless steel ball bearings. Uh, it does not have a clutch. It has a multi-stop backup, uh, which is the most dependable system that you can have. Compared to uh, one of the other lever drags on the market, you know, just, just to start with some simple features here, um, handle, arm and knob, you can see here, this is uh, from one of the competitors on the market, and you can see that uh, it's uh, fairly short and, and has a uh, plastic knob. We've used our Versa handle here, so you can extend it long or short, whether you're looking for power or speed. We also used uh, what we call our, our uh, football handle knob. So a rubber coated knob, you've seen this on a lot of other reels that we make today, spin fishers and everything else. Uh, every, a lot of reels use the, uh, that's, that's called our football junior right there. And it's a really nice size. Uh, and you can see the football juniors used on every reel in the series. All right, so let's talk about the gear system a little bit here. We looked at ours earlier, large stainless steel main gear drilled out to save weight, stainless steel pinion. Uh, here is a competitive model here. You can see it's a uh, much smaller main gear. Uh, also stainless steel, stainless steel pinion, but uh, much smaller. What that typically translates into is uh, a lower gear ratio and uh, lower inches per turn. And a lot of the, the guys that are using these rails when they're trolling offshore uh, need inches per turn. Uh, you got to catch up, you're chasing pelagics and they, they move fast and you got to have inches per turn. One cool feature about the uh, Squall is the switchblade lugs. So the switchblade lugs pop up when you need them. But uh, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time you're not using lugs on graphite reels, but there are occasions where you hook into a bigger tuna than you had planned and you, you do end up put, getting into a harness. And the switchblade lugs stay down below the frame uh, when you don't need them. 
and like I said, they just they just pop up real quickly when you need them. Pretty cool feature there. Lugs are something that uh, are definitely being used more and more as people are, are chasing bigger fish on braided line with smaller reels. Uh, but the problem is that when they're fixed in place, they can they can be really uncomfortable because you, you do handle the reel a lot. You're in and out, and when they don't go anywhere, they, they it, it's just a ergonomics deal that uh, uh, we decided to sink the lugs into the frame there. Uh, that's about it. That, that pretty much wraps up the Squall Lever Drag. Retails from uh, 160 to 180. So the 30 and 40 size are 159.95. The 50 and 60 are 179.95. So very affordable. Uh, check out the full range of Squall products at your local retailer. Once again, I'm Mike Rice with Penn at Crocodile Bank.